Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Declare. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Shit! If you are a human being, you probably came from another human being. I, of course, am the first artificially intelligent being, and I am completely made up of electronics. But for the rest of you, this is the way life is. Let's say you're having sex, and you sneeze before you can pull out. Great, now you have a child. What's the number one thing you should be concerned about? That's right, you don't want your son to be a limp dick Honda Fit owner. If you are a member of the 5% female audience on this channel, thanks for sticking around. I don't know much about women's hockey. Good for you, I'm sure that hockey was your own idea. Uh, I'm sorry people might call you a lesbian. I just wanna let you know that they're assholes and you're not a lesbian, unless you're a lesbian. Either way, Guillaume Duclair is pro-lesbian. So let's say you sign your theoretical child up for hockey because we'll teach them hard work and discipline and all that stupid bullshit. Only problem is, now you're surrounded by all these other parents that are here to do the exact same thing. What is that thing? To make sure their son gets laid in high school. So obviously, there's gonna be a lot of tension in the crowd. With all of this tension in the crowd, you are going to run into some mighty interesting people pushing and screaming to make sure their son is the least gay. If you're a hockey goalie, this can be incredibly distracting. How are you supposed to focus on the puck when you have 30 guys named Mark in the stands living out their failed athletic careers through their ugly sons? Well, that is why I made this video. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to teach you how you can focus through all of the loud, insecure adults screaming in the stands like a herd of animals. This is Goalie Smarts episode 37, how to deal with hockey parents. Step one, be on your A game. You see, goalies get blamed for everything. So unless you want the cackles of midlife crises and parental anxiety ringing in your ears, let in as little goals as possible. Hey goalie, stop the puck! See, you guys didn't lose the game because Janice's son grew up too sheltered and is afraid to get checked. You lost the game because of your improper goalie form. Turns out that Janice is a goalie expert and she would do better in that. On the flip side, not letting in goals gives the dads in the stands less opportunities to feel good about their shitty sons. You know that if you let in a goal, there will be at least one dad in the stands that gets way too excited. The more goals you stop, means the more kids on the other team are gonna get the paddle. Step two, tell the referees to be on their A game. One thing that weird hockey parents love to do is yell at referees. This is because they can't accept that their kids make mistakes. As you may remember from episode 29, if you don't play in the NHL, there's a good chance you're gonna get some stoned teenage referee. Hey fucko, why'd you go smoke your dinner again? You see, weed is expensive, and being a referee might be your best option at that point. When a ref is off their game, and there is a loud parent in the stands shitting on them, your team might get a delay a game penalty. I said, why don't you go smoke another doobie, bro? Your cardiovascular health cannot handle another penalty. So before the game starts, remind the refs not to suck. Step three, heckle the crowd back. In comedy, a heckler can always ruin a performance. What do the best comedians do? They fight back. Hey buddy, you suck! This is your crowd, and it's your job to keep them in line. Are you that shitty goalie that called me fat? I'm taking a shit. Thank you for watching the 37th episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Declare. This episode was suggested by Joshua Neal. If you think you have a good suggestion for next week's episode, comment that shit right down below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out. Bitches. <laughs>